Not too long ago, I had the honor, and I mean the sincere honor and pleasure, to go to the biggest mall that I've ever been to, Destiny USA in Syracuse, New York. Hello everybody, Bobby Gaines here, reporting live after the 7th Mall Tour, which I took in early June. The video is now available on YouTube, so of course check it out as always from Bobby Productions as Mall Tour 2017 continues on. Don't think that this is the end, but um, I just had to take a moment to stop and really talk about what I had just done and kind of just, you know, usually I do some Mall Tour discussions like halfway through the year or, you know, at the end of the Mall Tours, but... This this one was just so special to me for a number of reasons, and Destiny USA lived up to my expectations and then some as being not just a big mall, but like a mall with a lot of things to do and a lot of things to see. And that's really why I started the mall tour. I mean, a mall has to be pretty special for me to drive four and a half hours to it. And yes, this one was. Um, the record to this point had been three and a half hours, which is when I went to Pennsylvania, but that was more to, you know, meet my friend, say goodbye, and also to see some malls, but... You know, this one was all about the malls. Um, starting last year, actually, is when I got this urge to go to Destiny. Um, I went to Palisades in West Nyack, New York, one of the largest malls in the country. But, you know, I'm curious, and I wanted to see what are some of the largest malls in Connecticut... Um, largest malls in Connecticut. Largest malls in the country, rather, because there's nothing in Connecticut. What, what large malls could I go to that are reasonably within distance? And the biggest one by far was Destiny USA, the sixth largest in the country. And at the time, this was last summer, I was like, eh, you know, four and a half, almost five hours to get to a mall. Maybe not in the cars this year, but I, I definitely never ruled it out. And certainly this year, when the mall tour began, that was like my big bullseye. That was my, my big target starting it. I'm like, if I'm going to, you know, bring another mall tour about, I've got to go. You know, I can't just be going to the same malls again. I've got to go to some big ones. And i got to go to some real awesome ones, too. Because there are some awesome malls that aren't, you know, two and a half million square feet. But this one... Destiny USA um, was on my radar for a while, and as this trip became closer to, and it became more of a reality for it happening, I spent like the last week leading up to it just looking up things about the Carousel Center, Destiny USA, Syracuse, all the great things that it has to offer, all the stores that have been and have gone from the mall. I guess for a bigger mall it has a lot of turnover. A lot of stores have actually closed in that mall, and then they just get filled in by new stores. There was a lot of stuff I wanted to see. Thankfully I got to see all of it. Um, did not ride the carousel, just because it was, like, crowded with little kids, but I saw it, and it was a great carousel. I've ridden carousels at other malls, I'm sure I'll ride carousels again, but, uh, this was a great mall. There wasn't even time to ride the carousel, to be honest. I mean, there was so much to do with this mall. They only ran the carousel rides once every half an hour, but some of you who are from the area probably know that. And, basically, I just wanted to talk about the trip, um, spending four and a half hours on the road. You know, you would think that that wouldn't be fun, but it actually was a really good time. Uh, Caitlin and I made a pretty fun time out of it. And then the mall itself, of course, uh, whew, gotta say, you know, my initial reaction walking in was wow, and the more I saw, the more I was wowed by it. Um, you know, it had your basic, you know, setup. kind of reminded me of Emerald Square in some areas where there were the three, you know, three tiers of stores, but this went so much more beyond that. You know, most malls would just be that three-floor, or in this case, four-floor thing just running across, you know, from one side to the other, one big rectangle. But if you look at the Destiny USA map, if you look at it from above even, you can tell that there's a lot of stuff connected to it, a lot of stuff coming off of it. It's a huge building. It's not like, you know, you just go from one side to the other. I mean, they really throw a lot at you. There's actually six floors in the whole mall, but I think a couple of them are just used for offices or whatever. We couldn't get to them on the elevator. That's a shame because the view looked like it would have been fantastic view. But, um, yeah, there was a lot there. It had everything your normal malls have, which I really liked. It had the carousel, the food court, you know, your average slew of stores, your Game Stops, Forever 21, H&M, all that stuff. And the reason I mention that is because a lot of malls that are bigger, especially ones that are like in New York or in more populated areas, they... They tend to be a little more, I don't want to say fancy, but like kind of upscale, like West Farms in Connecticut, or just some of the bigger malls I've seen where, the Westchester being a perfect example, you know, it's like, it's really nice to look at, but you know, a lot of the stores are like way out of most people's price ranges, and Destiny USA wasn't like that. It was a huge mall, but it was also kind of a, I don't know, like a homely mall, you know, it was the kind of mall that I would definitely go to if I lived closer to Syracuse, I'd go there all the time, of course. Um, I mean, it is wild how much there is to do there, and how long you could spend just doing one or two things there. Uh, Caitlin and I went to the Wonderworks, 
which is this great little science-y type of park thing. It says it's an indoor amusement park. That's a little misleading. I mean, there's no rides in Well, there was the Wonder Coaster, but um, I'll get to that in a second. There are no rides in there. There's no, you know, like, no elevator or anything. It, and it's actually, I kind of joked with Caitlin, it's pretty much just a way to trick kids into not knowing they're learning. It's just one of those science museums where it's like, oh, see if the water gets hot. Like, it's... It, it was fun, don't get me wrong. Going through that tunnel in the beginning, the video doesn't really do it justice. It really was kind of cool. It had, like, this tunnel of spinning stars going around you as you walked in. And uh, for the first time, and the only time ever, I'm going to play some exclusive audio of Caitlin and I riding the aforementioned Wonder Coaster. Whoa! <laughs> They're going to fall to our tube. Whoa! 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 That's so, so for those of you who don't know, the Wonder Coaster is like this enclosed little capsule thing that kind of goes up and down and all around to simulate riding a real roller coaster. There's a screen in there that shows you a roller coaster's point of view, and you go like up and down and stuff, and it's kind of crazy. Our roller coaster had lava on the bottom, which made no sense to me, but whatever. Uh, yeah, that was that. Then you had the mirror maze, which that only took about 10 minutes, but what a 10 minutes it was, uh, getting lost in all those mirrors. And then, of course, like I mentioned, you have your regular stores that you could spend a long time in. Um, Caitlin and I went to Five Below, we went to GameStop, we went to J Street Video Games, one of the many surprisingly smaller stores they had there. Um, we passed the Croc store about 8 million times, we didn't go in. Uh, Caitlin went to Forever 21 and Charlotte Roos, we went to, you know, a few other ones. But, you know, like I've mentioned before, and, you know... Even though this was a fantastic mall, and this would be the one time where it was about the malls, the mall tour is also about the people. And to that end, you know, I can't thank Caitlin enough for coming along on a four-and-a-half-hour car ride. I mean, you know, I realize people's interest in this varies to some degree, but no matter how much you like malls, you know, at nine hours in a car is never the most appealing thing. But Caitlin, you know, toughed it out with me, and we had a great time. Paid a ton in tolls going through Massachusetts and New York, of course and paid a ton more tolls on the way back. Um, yeah, had to stop at a couple rest stops along the way, but again, it was a great time, and I really appreciate her going along on that. And as always, I appreciate all my friends going along on every mall tour um, all the time, whether it's in Connecticut or all the way in Syracuse or wherever. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going to Buffalo. It's like 500 miles from Connecticut, but hey, maybe if you live in Buffalo, you have some nice things to say about it. Can't comment on that. What I can comment on is that Destiny USA was the biggest mall that I've ever been to. It was fantastic. We got lost like 8 million times. And if I went again, I'd probably get lost 8 million more. And the elevators were awesome as well. The elevators, an honorable mention to them as always. I love elevators. And these were some of the fastest, maybe the fastest I've ever been in. And there were four of them in operation at all time. It was kind of cool to see that main plaza with the elevators always going up and down like some kind of Star Trek capsules. But, yeah, Destiny USA, fantastic. Obviously, if you live in New York and you have a chance to go there, I would highly recommend it. Even if it's a little ways out for you, if you like malls, definitely recommend it. There's so much more to do there. There's go-karts. There's the mini glow golf. There's a bowling alley. Anything you can think of to do there. There's a comedy club to pass the time to. So, Destiny USA was definitely a destination to behold. I would uh, definitely go again if it wasn't so far away. So, again, just... Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video about Destiny USA. I'll probably have a little more about it, but uh, for now, I just wanted to talk about it as the Mall Tour 2017 continues.